Hi, welcome back to Velo News TV. I'm Neil Rogers. We're here at London the day before the start of the Tour de France with Patrick Lefebvre, General Manager of Quick Step Energetic and also the President of the AIGCP. Patrick, thanks for joining us. Um, obviously, a contentious time with the, uh, with the pro group. Can you talk a little bit about your role as the President and your, sort of your perspective on what's been happening in the last few weeks? Uh, I have to say the last three were very tough. <laughs> I, I get this presidents uh, two years ago uh, when, the, when the project started and uh, unfortunately for me a lot of problems started with the Pro Tour, the fight between uh, UCI and uh, three big tours Then afterwards the Puerto affair, the Landis affair and all the other things uh, behind and uh, it's, not, it's not easy for the moment. Yeah, now it seems that the, the consensus seems to be that the sport is a, sort of at a divide right now with uh, some teams perhaps more uh, accepting of uh, the doping culture and more teams looking for a change. Is that a fair assessment? And if so, how do you manage that as the president of the group? Well, I think uh, it's not very right what you're saying. Um, first of all, I want to say each member who's leaving of our association make our association weaker. I think everybody wants to fight uh, with, uh, w against this pest, against this uh, doping. But uh, I think uh, you have what we want to do, I have the law. Uh, unfortunately, the law in Spain goes at five uh, kilometers an hour and the peloton the bench goes at 40. So uh, there was no law in Spain, the judge of instruction of whether it doesn't want to give the dossier to us. Uh, we don't have quite right information. The UCI today has uh, 1,000 pages, uh, other 5,000 are arriving. So we asked a few times a list, the, the right list, not, not the rumors. I'm not interested in rumors. But uh, unfortunately, we go back to the far west. Uh, so uh, a few of our colleagues said, okay, you, you and you, you didn't uh, applicate uh, the codes, we're going to hang you. Yeah. I'm not ready to go back to the Far West. Uh, I'm not happy what happens, but I, I, wa I want proofs on paper of uh, justice of USI. Not uh, because a new paper says very, very good because uh, they like scandals or the people want to read scandals. No only the official uh, things, UCI or Justice, give us the names. Nobody give the right names. What was your feeling about the UCI's, uh, the pledge that they had the riders sign coming into the tour? We were not very happy about it because uh, we were not uh, contacted, not, not even the, uh, the association of the riders. But uh, I, I can understand what Pat McQuaid said, that uh, in, in a very difficult situation, you have to take uh, sometimes strange uh, decisions. But anyway, I think 100% uh, of the people present and uh, on, on Pro Tour uh, teams offshore are agree that we have to fight against this and to do something. But uh, I always say panic is a, is a very bad advisor. Sure. So uh, we have to stay cool. Uh, this sport became very big. We have to, to have good lawyers who make sign documents who can turn back like a boomerang in our face. It seems as though that uh, you know, there has been a culture of doping and cycling in, throughout history and people are eager to, to see a change but everybody is sort of waiting for the, for the other person to make the change first. I mean I think it's difficult to, to turn away from uh, performance enhancement when, when it's such a part of the sport. How can, how can this change be made? I mean, who, who's going to be the first to say we, we'll step away if everybody else will and how will that happen? I think uh, you go a little bit fast. Uh, you don't, don't forget that where we come from 67, the death of Tom Simpson, where everything was allowed. Then you had the amphetamine controls, then you had the ambolica controls, the cortisone controls, then the, the 98 Festina affair, then the APO. Today, I think there's so much controls, also uh, in opinion, everything. So I think the will is there to, to fight against this uh, sickness. But um, we are only uh, a mirror of the, of the society. Sure. So if the 
uh, thieves or uh, te uh, how you say it? teaching? No, uh, treat it. Treat. No, he says in English. Uh, people who who doesn't do things well, uh -huh. and and the normal uh, civilization we have. Thieves. It. Yeah, we yeah. have it also. Yeah, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, we have it also. We I I said on uh, since '98, uh, doping in my team. No, thieves in my family. Maybe I hope not, but maybe. Sure. As you said, it's been a difficult three years as the president of this group. Uh, how long do you intend to continue in that role? Until the day they accept me, and until the day my wife says, uh, "Okay, uh, you can go," or uh, off today, she says, uh, "The day that she says uh, stop or you come not anymore in the house, <laughs> uh, I stop." <laughs> yeah, let's talk a little bit about the Quick Step team. I mean, obviously, T Tom Boonen is sort of the big star here, and you're looking for some stage wins, and maybe, uh, maybe even take the yellow jersey. How how important is the the stage heading into Belgium for the Belgian team? Well, I think uh, very important. Uh, we're going home, and uh, I I hope he can uh, not losing too much seconds tomorrow in the prologue, and then it's very important the first uh, stage. He has to be in the three first uh, riders to to pick up the bonification and then we will see. And uh, obviously um, for Quickstep, he's the main rider. Can you talk a little bit about some of the other riders here and what you might expect to see from them? Uh, contrary of the other years, uh, we don't coming only with the sprinters team. Uh, Tom has a few good guys around him, uh, right? Steven De Jong, Gat Stegmans, Sebastian Rosler, Tosato. Now we have the French guy uh, Vasseur, who we can put uh, uh, in any work sure. for his last year, his last tour. And then we have the two Spanish guys, uh, Barredo and uh, Garate. Garate was already seventh in the Giro last year. Mm -hmm. He was um, hurt in the beginning of the year. He broke his arm and three ribs, so he is very fresh. And I hope he will do a very good tour. One last question. Can you give us your uh, sort of predictions on the GC for this race? How do you see the, the final podium in Paris? Uh, I'm not Madame Soleil, <laughs> but I hope for the sport uh, that we can have a tour without scandals. And uh, I hope personally that a young guy, a rider, wins the tour who nobody's except.